In today's video, I'm going to be going through step by step how to schedule and automate your Instagram posts. If you are looking for ways to make your Instagram page run easier, stick around for this one. Thank you guys for joining me for yet another video. Now, if you are only just discovering one of my videos on my channel, my name is Ryan and I build and monetize Instagram theme pages. I also put a disclaimer at the start of every one of my videos to say that I'm not selling you guys a course anywhere in this video or any of my other videos, in fact. That's not me. All I ask in return for all of this free advice is that you go down below, smash the like button and comment some video ideas for me. Committing the video ideas is very important so I know what you guys want to see from me in the future. Okay, so enough rambling on now. Let's get straight into the video. So we are going to be going through both mobile and desktop scheduling features. So first of all, I'm going to be going through the tool I use to schedule my Instagram posts and this is Facebook Creator Studio. So I'm going to be teaching you guys step by step how to actually schedule your posts using Facebook Creator Studio. So first of all, you need to create a Facebook page. Make sure this Facebook page and your Instagram account both have the same date of birth otherwise they will not sync up next you want to connect your facebook profile onto your instagram account you can do this by going through edit profile and settings next you want to log on to say an ipad a laptop or a pc go on to google and search for facebook creator studio so then you want to sign into your facebook page and your facebook account on the facebook creator studio desktop app and then once you signed in it will take you to the facebook page to start with but at the top you can press the instagram side click that and then you would like to sign into your instagram theme page on this bit by pressing add account and for there you select create post, input the content you want to be posting and schedule it for the appropriate time. Facebook Creator Studio is great because you can schedule six months ahead. This is perfect for people who prefer a sort of laid back approach to growing an Instagram theme page. So the pros of using Facebook Creator Studio are as follows. It is safe to use. It is very, very simple to use. You can schedule quite ahead of time. You can schedule up to six months ahead of where you're posting. As Facebook is linked with Instagram, there is no risk of your account getting taken over by sort of botty pages that schedule your posts for you. And the fifth and most important reason is it's free. Why wouldn't you use this? The only con currently with the Facebook Creator Studio website is that you cannot schedule Reels. I'm predicting that they are going to fix this in the near future, so I wouldn't hold me to this one whenever you're watching. So the next scheduling software I'm going to be talking about is called Later. I personally haven't used this, but I do see the potential in it. The pros and cons for Later are as follows. Pros include, it's useful for editing in the desktop without needing your mobile. It is simple to use and safe to use. The con of this is that it actually costs money to use, and it is also mainly used to upload photos, not videos. I normally would recommend Facebook Creator Studio studio over later as you can see why now wait if you guys liked the video yet make sure to go down below and absolutely obliterate the like button for the youtube algorithm this helps my videos be pushed out to a wider audience and grow my page cheers guys so this is a way to automate your instagram page on the go on your mobile you can actually save drafts on the actual instagram app this saves time by going through and having to create all the posts manually and then post you can create a bunch of drafts and then do it one by one when you need to post them the captions save on all your drafts so you literally just need to paste your caption in and then press save now when you want to post it in the future you just press post. This is also free to do as it's all inside the Instagram app. A great advantage of this is that you can actually do the same with Reels, not just feed posts. This is an advantage over things such as Facebook Creator Studio. But what I like to do is have Facebook Creator Studio and this drafts thing running at once. So I schedule my posts with Facebook Creator Studio, but I save my drafts as the Reels. Therefore, they go hand in hand and help me to create my page and allow me to be pumping out lots and lots of content. This drafts on Instagram does sort of take away the automated side of it, but it's very, very useful. So I advise using one of the websites such as Facebook Creator Studio and the Instagram reels drafts things all together so next of all we are going to be talking through how you can plan your posts so they look the best on your feed a great app i use on my phone for this is planally planally helps you see what your feed's going to look like before you post it i use this for when i create new accounts so i can see what my posts are going to look like straight away and what my feed sort of will look like as a style so when you are creating the new account i recommend planally so now we're towards the end of the video i wanted to talk about what content you should be posting on your instagram pages to schedule automate and plan so this content should be viral content viral content is taken from other big pages in your niche that have done well and performed well on their pages and you can take that and repost that when you're actually creating your real drafts i also recommend a repost app on your mobile if you're going to do it that way for your actual content make sure you're only posting viral content as i said before and you're always using a call to action on your posts a call to action pretty much calls your audience to do an action on your post such as like save comment share i find doing posts that could have a split opinion do well because a lot of people will be commenting and sharing to see what their friends opinions are and see what other people in the community's opinions are on this subject i recommend when you're also posting your content that you tag a location in it for for example, if I wanted to tag the location of Miami Beach, I could do that. Now, people who search for Miami Beach and click locations, they can see my posts. This just widens your opportunity for reach, and therefore more people are going to see your posts. I thought this was a good ending to the actual video to show you how to get your viral content and how to actually post good content on your page. If you'd like to see more of the content I spoke of towards the end of this video, then check out my other videos. I go really in depth on this. These are my previous accounts I've grown. So there's this one and there's this one. So this advice is all coming from the heart. So make sure you take advantage of it. 
I hope you guys have learned something from this video about scheduling, automating and planning your posts. And I hope this makes running your theme page a lot easier and simpler. Now we are really coming towards the end of this video, but I've noticed only about 10% of my viewers are actually subscribed. It would mean the world to me guys if you went down below, smash the subscribe button and even turn on the notification bell while you're down there. This means you do not miss my upload and why wouldn't you want that? And also while you're down there, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. It helps my videos to be seen by a wider audience and helps my channel grow. Feel free to stay to the end of this video to see my most previous video. So yeah guys, I'll see you there. Cheers.